Bradley Aldridge briefly coached at Miami University back in 2012 after he worked for uh, the Blackhawks. The independent investigation that was ordered by the university detailed uh, accounts of Aldridge assaulting these young men um, that same year and later a Michigan high school student in 2013. The last incident landed Aldrich a felony conviction and a spot on the list of registered sex offenders. The latest investigation follows two negligence lawsuits filed against the Blackhawks earlier this year. One claims that the team's management covered up Aldrich's sexual assault of a Hawks player. The other alleges the Hawks gave recommendation letters to Aldrich's future employers, including Miami University. I want to make sure in any way possible that this does not happen to somebody else. This is the Hawks player at the center of those lawsuits, recently coming out as one of Aldrich's victims from 2010. In an interview with the Canadian TV station, he expressed remorse for the high school student sexually assaulted by Aldrich years later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't do more when I could to make sure it didn't happen to him to protect him. National law firm Barnes and Thornburg conducted the investigation for Miami University. Aldrich's first alleged victim while working as a hockey director at the university was an intern, the other an undergraduate student. The report found that the university hadn't finished its background check on Aldrich when he accepted the job, nor did it collect fingerprints. However, there were no criminal convictions or arrests on Aldrich's record at the time. The report concluded that the university acted appropriately when these allegations first came to light in 2012 and 2018. The university's media representative issued a statement saying, We take allegations of sexual assault very seriously and believe that those who commit these heinous crimes should be held accountable. The findings of the report reassure us that we follow the proper protocols in these cases. The investigation also found that Aldridge had a pattern of forming close, at times questionable, relationships with young student athletes. Neither of the alleged victims from Aldridge's time at Miami University went on to file uh, formal complaints with the Oxford police. Reporting live, Monique John, WCPO 9 News.